Hello guys, welcome to our video. This video is from BTEC SDMIT. You may be thinking, what is BTEC? It is our project, Smart B for me using IoT. And my teammates are Karan Kumar Shetty, Pawan AS, and Roshan Gudika. Bees and human beings have an important relationship from the age of civilization, from back of 2400 BC. You know what? In agriculture, honeybees play an important role. Because of the pollinization, it increases the yield of production. And in our project, we are, we are supporting the bee, beekeeping. And firstly, we will know what is the problem statement in our project. Firstly, we will know what are the problems facing by the bee farmers. Consider, if I am the bee farmer and I have 3 to 5 boxes, and the honey bees will be filling the honey with the tray and I have to go and check manually when the box will be filled with the honey but if I have 10 to 15 boxes it is very difficult for me for go and checking each and every uh, corresponding boxes so here, here is the solution for the bee farmers we provide in our project as we saw the what is the problem statement here we are solving this problem using the technology that is IoT Internet of Things. Here we are notifying the user when the box will be filled, and then also not only the box uh, information of the box is shown, and also the information about the temperature, humidity, and position is shown. Because if the box position is changed, then the bees will be disturbed. And now we will move on to what are the hardware components used in our project. Hardware components used are beehive. Beehive is the basic component we use in our project. Load cell. Load cell is used for weighing the weight of the box and then notify the user when the box is filled with honey. DHT-11 sensor. DHT-11 sensor is used for sensing the temperature and humidity of the box and notify the user. Accelerometer. Accelerometer is used for detecting and notify the, notify the box if the box is disturbed or displaced. How our project works. Our project is basically based on Internet of Things. Here we can see how farmers can be facilitated in four ways. Weight of the box, temperature, humidity and position of the box. Here we can see farmer inserting an empty tray so that bees will be filled that tray with honey. But farmer doesn't know when exactly the tray will be filled. So let us take an example. Let 8 cages be the weight of the box. And 1 kg be the weight of the bees with tray. And approximately 5 to 6 kg of honey will be filled and produced by the bees. So the farmer gets a notification of each and every particular box when maximum weight is reached. Here we can see when it is reaches to 13 kgs, the user gets the information that the box is filled with the honey. Here you can see how the farmer is taking the tray out when the tray is filled with honey. Secondly, the farmer is notified with the temperature and humidity information that is sensed by DHT-11 sensor so that if the temperature is high, then the bees will be healthy. Position of the box plays an important role because if the bees are disturbed, then no honey will be formed. So if the box is displaced or disturbed, the accelerometer notifies the user. So, do not disturb the bees. Here is the demonstration of the sensors. Here you can see the connection of DST11 sensor to the Raspberry Pi. And also load cell which is used in our project is connected to the Raspberry Pi. Here is a command sudo python dht11.py. It is a command used to run the program and display the temperature and humidity readings which is measured using DHT11 sensor. Here you can see temperature and humidity readings are displayed. It is displaying the readings which is measured using the DHT11 sensor. And then moving on to next, the load cell. Here is the command sudo python weight.py. It is a command used to run program and check the weight and display it. Here you can see it is showing 0 grams. And then a coin is placed and then it is showing 15 grams. Here we are increasing the coins. And then you can see the weight is increased. So then it is how the calculation is done using the weight sensor. 
and then the readings have be, will be displayed for the user which will be the weight cell which will be placed beneath the box it is a demonstration of the sensors which we use in our project using iot it is our user interface here we provide the b farmer with registration and login page let us see how to register let us give a username email id and a valid password and you must confirm the password give a contact number and address and registration is successful now and let us log in with same email id and password If the password is wrong or the username is wrong it will not open So use the same email id and password which you used for the registration It is our website in which temperature humidity position and weight is shown Here you can see the graph in which the temperature is shown here the last five readings of dht11 sensor is taken into consideration and the graph is plotted and then here you can see the monitoring system where the information about temperature weight humidity and position will be shown but weight and position notification will be sent for the user as it is very essential for the bee farmer and then here is a website and you can log out now after you use Thank you guys for watching our video. I hope this video was informative and useful to you. I think I have cleared all the concepts which we use in our product that is using the IoT internet of things and please do support us.